Good morning. When I was growing up, my parents would put presents under the tree, and one of my brothers would go over and open up just a corner weeks ahead and to see what was in there, and then he would carefully close it back up so no one would know. Can you believe it? I would not do that because the waiting and the anticipation was part of the fun for me. And we are in a time of waiting and anticipating right now. We're, we're hoping to get out of COVID lockdown and we are waiting for a, a whole holiday together with family and friends. We, and we're waiting for the coming of Christ's celebration. Advent. It's the four weeks before Christmas. And we, it means coming or arrival. We prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ in the past and also for his future coming. Waiting anticipating is a part of our Christian heritage. The Israelites waited a long time for the Messiah. And God said to them in Isaiah 7, 14, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Then he announced it early to Mary and the shepherds and the wise men. He loved to get people's anticipation up, it seems to me. And we're waiting and anticipating Christ's second coming. So as we put up lights and trees and start to put presents under the tree and anticipate opening them or watching others open the ones we gave them. Let's also remember what Christmas is about. Maybe you'll use an Advent candle or an Advent wreath or Advent prayers. Let's pause and ask God each day to prepare our hearts just as he prepared all of history for the coming of his son. Let's use this month to cut away the distractions and make our life a place of warmth and openness, to care more about people than about presence. And starting today, start to anticipate the unwrapping of the most important gift, the gift of Emmanuel, God with us.